pigs are done, new chicken, meat, chicken, uh, tractor's done. I put some deep bedding in here for the hogs. We leave half of it just dirt so they can, you know, make mud, forage a little bit under these trees for acorns and things like that because there's some oaks right above them. And then on top of that, we just do some deep bedding. They use the restroom in that one corner. Now, remember, hogs are pretty clean, so they don't they don't use the restroom everywhere. They just use it over there. If their water gets dirty right here, they won't drink it. So we always try to keep it away from all, uh, you know, where they use the restroom over here where their manure is. So we make them a deep bedding system. We got them a little wallering area right behind this. When it's hot, they tend to, to like to waller. Uh, most of the time they don't, being a foraging pig like they are. But we just gave them some alfalfa, and now they're just hanging out. They've been playing in this hay. I wish I could have got them, but they were kind of going underneath it, trying to sit in it. So as it gets cooler here in the south, I want them to have something they can kind of bed in. That's her little place where she beds when uh, I guess when she tries to go to bed, he kind of beds over here. So just a nice little area for them just to kind of play in and scavenge in. And they're eating some food scraps from last night as well. So uh, they're doing good. She's getting so close to having piglets probably in the next month or so. So we're excited about that, excited about seeing the little piglets, hoping that they, um, hopefully she has about six. Cause we're going to try to sell two, uh, grow them up for people, and then sell, sell two of those as uh, processed pork. So... They're doing really good. You see, he, <laughs> he just likes to hang out in it. I don't know about y'all, but I could sit and watch cows and pigs all day. Pigs are done, new chicken, meat chicken, uh, tractor's done, finished. Now we've got, you know, we planted the turnips. If you remember planting, or excuse me, not the turnips, mustards and collars, two rows each. We're gonna go and pull back two more rows. We're gonna direct sow some lettuce and we're gonna direct sow some carrots. Now, if you remember, we do have lettuce starts over in the, the huca culture beds, but we're gonna try a different variety, direct, direct, direct sow into the ground. We've done that before and had success. Not as much success in the ground as much as raised bed, but we have all this beautiful garden space right here that we're not using. Now we want a lot of it to rest, so of course we would not use nearly this much for winter because we just don't have that, we don't eat that much. Uh, and of course, uh, these, these tend to go longer season, so a lot of these we'll keep on making as long as we keep on cutting. So we are gonna pull back two more rows though so we can go ahead and get the lettuce and the carrots ready to go in. Um, and then uh, that will pretty much finish our, our fall and winter planting. Uh, that's the only two things we have not done. Now we are gonna put a few more, uh, a little bit more rye in some of the spots that were, they're not coming up the best uh, for the deer paddock and also, I mean the deer plot and also the, the cattle paddock. I have one paddock that's, that's a little thin. So I'm gonna go back and reapply some more. Uh, and then also we've got to plant the wheat. But like uh, the I kids said, are playing. Actually, we'll, we might pass them when we go to the, uh, the pumpkin patch where we're going to disc up and plant wheat uh they're back there having a nerf war with some buddies so uh the kids are probably back there you'll see them but uh let's go ahead and get this done get this finished and then we'll plant everything we need to get planted and
This is the hottest day of the next two weeks. It's going to be around, it was about 50 this morning, but it's going to be around 75 to 80, but it's getting a little warm with the sun beating down. But got everything weeded. You know, I told you last video it needed to be weeded, but it looks great. Our peas are doing good. I don't know who else has peas in late October. Um, these are pink eye purple hull and Mississippi pink eye, and they're doing phenomenal. They're beautiful. No, no sign of tons of bugs. And it's just been a, a good a good year so far doing the silage tarps and having this fall garden start but they look really nice I, I guess this is update central for our our, our, our vlog today um, here's some of the, the tangerines and oranges that you haven't seen they're growing great we've got about four or five on this bush uh, we thought we lost this bush last year look how big this one is it's I can wrap my whole hand around it uh, here's another one right here another one right here so we've got four, one, two, three, no, three on that one, excuse me. And then our lemons, look at our lemons. This tree makes smaller lemons for some reason. We can't ever get a real big lemon, but we'll get several of these little, you know, I'd say uh, like a half dollar size lemon. And of course we'll put them in teas, waters, and, and I, I love lemon, so we'll put it in a lot of things. We'll put it in apple cider vinegar if I'm drinking a little bit of it, but we've got lemons everywhere. So I'm hoping they'll do good. We'll put a heater in here for winter uh, and they'll thrive. Look at our strawberries. They're doing great. Like I said before, to me, strawberries do better in winter than they do in spring for us. So we've got these big strawberry beds. Uh, our aloe is looking great. Look at that. This is our mother plant. This one mother plant had given us all these babies. Then in turn, as you see, there's a lot of babies right here. We split off. We have probably, talking about making money on the homestead, we've taken this one aloe plant that we bought for probably 5 or $6 a year and a half ago and has probably made, man, hundreds of dollars on splitting it and utilizing it. So it's been really good for us. Uh, but I do want to show you a few of those other days. Look, there's Mrs. Basil. If you follow us on Facebook and social media, uh, Instagram, you see Misty harvested this yesterday. Uh, but it all looks so, so good and so healthy. We use basil in just about everything. From lemon basil tea. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell it. Lemon basil tea. And to put in any of our Italian dishes that we're having. So it really does smell great. And we utilize it. Sage, rosemary, all this stuff sitting out right now because it's not cold enough to put in the greenhouse. But we'll get put in the greenhouse before it actually gets to fall season. How cold it is? Well, about an hour and a half ago, when we were on our way home from the soccer game, it was 55. So, 55! <laughs> that's pretty cold to us. So, we're like, we're fishing up. We thought about putting our big jackets on and actually having fire inside. 55 is kind of chilly. Huh? <laughs> well, the kids are finishing up. They're going to roast some marshmallows. It's the first of the season. Isn't it? Yeah.
We hope you have a good night. Hope you're enjoying our content. Happy homestead, y'all.